Have you guys ever just been leveling in World of Warcraft and you get this new weapon and it's like you're playing a different game after you get that weapon. You are just insanely powerful. You're able to cleave through mobs and you end up playing for three hours straight. You don't even know how it's possible because your character has just become so awesome. Well, I love that experience, and I go out of my way in order to figure out which weapons will give you that experience. And I've gathered seven of them, and I'm going to share them with you, uh, going from the least to the most uh, game-changing, but all of them, of course, are hugely game-changing, uh, and it's just so much fun. And number one was the most fun for me. Um, it was it was it was insane. It's like your character is completely broken. I should mention that these power spike weapons um, are to gather while leveling. Um, you know, th this is something that will greatly increase your leveling speed, greatly increase your fun. If you ask me, you're just going to be chunking mobs with these weapons, just taking them down so fast. Uh, I can't wait to share them with you. So let's just go ahead and get started. So number seven, we have Venom Strike. This is a bow you can get from Lord Serpentis in Wailing Caverns. You have to be level 19 for it. This weapon is so good that you won't have to replace it for nine whole levels. It's that strong. Uh, you won't replace it until you get Bow of Plunder later at level 28. It's, it's so good, Venom Strike. It has a chance on hit to do nature damage. I mean, you're already a hunter. You're already insane. You don't even really need a weapon. Heck, your pet does all the work, let's be honest here. But Venom Strike is one of those weapons that it's worth going out of your way to get. Now, of course, if you're Alliance, it's much harder to get into Wailing Caverns and do all that nonsense. But, um, you know, playing a PvE server going to make it a lot easier. But, um, yeah, Venom Strike, unbelievable. And it, it's something that you should definitely go out of your way and get because of how powerful it is. All right, now moving on to number six is Thrash Blade. You can get this at level 45 from completing the quest Corruption of Earth and Seed. This is basically a Maradon quest. Now, Thrash Blade has a chance on hit to get an extra weapon swing. This is crazy because it can proc like crazy and do tons of damage. Um, you know, if you're a rogue or even if you're a fury warrior, you get this thing and you're just like, oh my gosh, like my character is amazing. In Season of Mastery, there was a bug where you could get two of them. Um, it's, it's, it's an incredibly strong weapon, the Thrash Blade. Um, it's, it's definitely a weapon worth going out of your way to get. Uh, it's, it, you get it at level 45. Um, you know, obviously it does drop off before you hit max level and you should get something else, but it'll serve you very, very well for many levels. And it's another one of those weapons that rogues in particular and fury warriors, if you are leveling two one-handers as a warrior... We should definitely go out of their way to enjoy the incredibly fun Thrash Blade. Of course, getting that extra rage from those extra hits is fantastic for a warrior. Now, number five is one of my absolute favorites. I absolutely love the Woe Stave. Now, this one is typically not chosen from the quest rewards. At level 50, this is a priest-only sunken temple troll feather quest. If you are very familiar with World of Warcraft, you know that many classes, probably all classes, honestly, have this sunken temple troll feather class-specific quest with varying degrees of good rewards. Well, the Woe Stave, in my opinion, is absolutely broken. Many priests opt to play as a healer in Classic WoW. No one really plays Shadow Priest, but Woe Stave is very good for Shadow Priests, and pretty much every priest is going to be leveling Shadow, and Woe Stave is just perfect for that leveling experience. Now, I love the playstyle of the priest where you cast, you know, one or two spells, like a, a hot, or sorry, a dot, and um, mind blast, and then you just wand them down. And this uh, this plays very well with the with the priests. One specialization dealing 25% increased damage. The woe stave, simply put, will chunk your enemies. It's insane and it's addictive. You get this thing, heck, you just throw a Shadow Word Pain on a mob and then just freaking woe stave them down. Just use the shoot button, just whomp, and just, dude, it does crazy damage. I remember I got it right at level 50, went into Fellwood. I couldn't stop playing the game. It was just too addictive. My Priest was the, one of the most overpowered classes I've honestly played as Priest using some very powerful wands, but highly recommend the Woe Stave um, if you're not going to uh, regret missing out on the other quest rewards, which are quite good for healing uh, later in the game. Woe Stave is so much fun. Highly recommend it. 
You know, number four is a classic, and I'm sure you will not be surprised by it, but it is none other than the Whirlwind Axe. You get this at level 30 from the Warrior Quest. It's quite a hard quest chain, to be totally honest. I don't think I've ever done it by myself. I think I've always gotten help with this. <laughs> I mean, obviously, there's a lot of it you can do yourself, but, you know, killing those elementals when you're level 30 in Arathi Basin or Arathi Highlands, yeah, those are pretty tough to kill, especially the lightning ones. Um, but yeah, Whirlwind Axe, huge power spike. I mean, especially if you get this right at level 30, get someone to help you do this. Oh my gosh, the Whirlwind Axe will last you such a long time. It is perfect. Obviously, you don't want the Whirlwind Sword or the Whirlwind whatever else they're offering. The Whirlwind Mace, I don't even know. The Whirlwind Axe is great. Wonderful if you're an orc, you get that axe specialization. But even if you're a human, dude... It's great because you can go into arms and get axe specialization in the arms tree, which gives you 5% increased crit if you put 5 points into it. Then you also have 5 points in the fury tree, cruelty, giving you an extra 5% crit. Dude, you're just chunking mobs. I remember I was playing uh, like a rogue or something, or I don't know what I was playing, maybe a hunter, and I was in Stranglethorn Vale and I just see this gnome warrior, which basically just looks like a giant whirlwind axe jumping around. You can hardly see the gnome. And dude, he just he's just jumping around, and dude, I think he like two shot like a tiger just walking by just up up to dead whirlwind axe is unbelievable it's so powerful if you haven't experienced it as a warrior it's a wonderful time you are going to chunk mobs like there's no tomorrow now the only thing that i could imagine be beating the whirlwind axe at number three is the ice barbed spear at level 51 if you win an alteric valley at level 51 you get the quest you queue up you just have to win Go turn in the quest, you get access to the Ice Barbed Spear. Now this is a huge upgrade for warriors, for paladins, anyone who needs a two-hander and can use a polearm. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It is literally Whirlwind Axe 2.0, right where Whirlwind Axe left off, uh, Ice Barbed Spear picks up. You know, Whirlwind Axe max damage is 150. Oh, well, that's Ice Barbed Spear's minimum damage, okay? Now, this type of upgrade is serious. Now, I didn't know what I was getting myself into until I saw myself three-shot two mobs at once. Like, I literally went into Fellwood. I had Ice Barbed Spear. I charged. I put on um, Sweeping Strikes. I casted, or I guess I used Mortal Strike. I hit for like a 1,000. I crit for a 1,000, right? Both mobs are almost already dead. I hit execute. Both mobs are dead. It w I guess that's two shot. I don't know. It was ridiculous. So Ice Barb Spear is probably one of the most powerful weapons. It's the biggest, one of the biggest power spike weapons, in my opinion, in class, all of Classic WoW. So if you play a warrior or a paladin, get that Ice Barb Spear at level 51. You are going to seriously thank me for for that experience if you haven't done it already. It will last you all the way to 60, guaranteed, fantastic weapon. Now the only thing that can be tied with Ice Barb Spirit number two is Bloodseeker. This is uh, once again actually gotten from that Alteric Valley level 51 quest, just win one AV. Bloodseeker is incredible for hunters, really many other classes too, but hunters are gonna get the most use out of it. It's a huge power spike, it's their pre-raid bis, so, like, you bring that to Molten Core, it's so strong. It's 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 actually responsible, if you saw my other video, for why Hunters are doing so well. On the damage meters, on the logs, they're doing amazing because they get Bloodseeker, their pre-raid Biss, which is super strong, super easily. Um, so, yeah, Bloodseeker is unbelievable. Once you get that, you take it all the way, man. Take it all the way through the phase. Bloodseeker is so strong. It's that good. Um, and then number one. The number one hugest power spike weapons in Classic WoW. What could possibly beat all of these other weapons? Well, to be totally honest with you, at number one, it is Gravestone Scepter. You can get this at level 18 from the quest Black Fathom Villainy in Black Fathom Deeps. This honestly could last you until level 40. It's that good. It will last you literally 22 levels because it is that strong. Um, it's, it's just... If you get this at level 18, every every character that could use wands, I made sure to get this wand because it changes the way you play the game. You no longer need to cast spells. And if you're a priest, <laughs> you're going to be like three-shotting mobs. It's unbelievable how, how, it, how strong this weapon is. It is so fun to get the Grave Scepter wand at level 18 because 
it just it changes everything it it just it it you feel like a melee character you're just chunking mobs just huge crit after huge crit you just you know just chunk a mob down to no health and you just want to keep going and you know if you're if you're a priest you got one specialization you've got spirit tap so you're always full mana you're completely overpowered you're completely rigged it's such a fun experience it doesn't even feel like classic wow it just feels like you're playing retail at that point or you have world buffs on it is the in my opinion the biggest power spike weapon in classic wow and the most fun of course within leveling i don't know maybe there's some bigger ones you know end game gear whatnot but these are my top seven hugest power spike weapons in classic wow do you have a weapon that you go out of your way to get while leveling that's not on this list let me know in the comments below and i will see you in the next video take care